Blessed be witches and welcome to another episode of Witch Please. It is I, Odin the Seer, and today we are going to be doing the final part to my elemental cleansing products. And that is going to be our water floor wash. Now, you've, if you have not watched the videos on my Earth Sweep or my Air Mist or my Fire Polish, you can always check the links below, click on that, and it will bring you to those videos so you can watch those and really get your house vibrationally sound. So why would I use this for? I use this to keep my home peaceful. For me, it's very important to have a peaceful home, to be able to feel comfortable, have the people that come in who want to be around me, you know, to feel like this is a safe place. This is a safe haven. Literally, I would walk into my house and there would be random students that would be sitting on my sofa and I'd be like, oh, do we have class today? And they'd be like, no, I just came to sit here. <laughs> That's how awesome this really is. People just love to be in this space. So if you feel that your home has a negative vibration, you can't find the peace there or you can't seem to get peace, try this out. You will be surprised. I am forever using this in my meditation room and my office. I'm constantly, constantly washing the floors. And if I'm using my fire floor polish, so I'll polish my office floor with that, and then I will use the water after a couple of days and it's all dried in, it's all good and whatnot, I will actually wash my floor with this. And I find that it becomes more of an active type of piece which is really kind of hard to explain, but once you start using this, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. When I say an active piece, it is just soon as you, it's overwhelming. It's an overwhelming sense of peace. You get this, as soon as you walk through the door, you get this comfortable feeling and just relaxed. It's, it's amazing. So I really recommend giving this bad boy a try. So what are you going to need for this? Well, you are going to need your Dr. Bronner's Castel Soap. Now this is the non-fragrant one. I like to make it my own, make it very powerful, and make it very customized for what exactly I will be using it for. I will put a few drops of essential oil in, and I will wash my clothes with it, and I will actually have very powerful um, clothing that has an intent to it. So it's really that, it's that versatile, it's that comfortable to use, it's that easy to use. I've used this for my dishes, I've used this for everything. So anybody, and it's it's really good environmentally sound product. You will also need these essential oils. You need jasmine, eucalyptus, lemon, camphor, and calamus. So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to fill your bottle with the castor soap. Now another thing I wanted to say about this is that this is actually made with, I believe, olive oil base. So it really does bring the oils in and allows it to disperse properly. So very good thing to use. Now the bottle, if you can see, I almost filled it up to the top actually. And that's because you don't need a lot of space when you're putting in the essential oils. And this here is so potent and so powerful that you can actually do a couple of squirts into your mop bucket and then you just twist them off like this and get it foaming because it foams really, really well and it works wonders. So, calamus root. Calamus root is great when it comes to asserting your dominance and your control. And I find that when I need to be able to keep that kind of, this is my home, this is my sacred space, I protect it, it protects me, I do not allow any of that crap into a place, right? I want to stay dominant, I want to stay in charge of my space. I don't want anybody coming in messing with my piece. That's just not going to happen. It is also a foundational botanical. It is great for, for creating those roots. If you want your home to feel like a home, all right, you want those roots, you want those foundations, you want to feel safe in it. And it also has a very strong anti-theft property to it as well. So this is another reason why I use my Calamus essential oil. And I am going to be putting in five drops of that. So the next one we're going to be using is camphor. Now y'all know how I feel about camphor. I love camphor. One, it is great for calling in your ancestors, which I think is just wonderful. I want my home to be filled with the ancestral vibration. I want my ancestors to feel welcome. I want them to be here protecting my home, protecting my family. I just want them there to be there and I want to feel their energies around me. And 
because camphor is a repellent as well, you know, it calls in what is beneficial to you, but it repels what is negative and not needed within your world. I couldn't think of another way of being able to, you know, have such a multi versatile oil with inside this mixture to allow you to really level up when it comes to creating the space that's going to afford you the ability to really manifest what you truly want. Now, camphor is the one that really smells like cleaning products. So a lot of people, this will be a familiar scent to you when you start cleaning. You'll be like, wow, this kind of smells very familiar. And that would be the camphor because camphor is used in a lot of cleaning products and people don't really know that. And I'm going to be putting in five drops of this into my master bottle. All right, next we are going to be using our lemon. Oh, lemon. Lemon is good for repelling, breaking down negative energy. It is great for protection. If you're cleaning your house, you're cleaning your floors once a week or twice a week or whatever you're doing, and you use this, you're basically stripping it clean, clean of all negativity, all unwanted vibrations, and really setting the stage for your day-to-day -day life. So lemon is a must as far as I'm concerned, and we are going to be using nine drops of lemon. The next one we're going to be using is eucalyptus. People don't really concern themselves with the health of their home. As I said before in some of my other videos, that the home is a vibration. It has a consciousness, okay? And you want to keep that consciousness healthy. You want to keep the vibration of your home healthy. You want to keep everyone and everything in your home healthy. So we want to add in the eucalyptus to bring in that health. It also can bring in prosperity. It can also bring in a sense of community and family. Now, when I'm doing the final prayer of this, I will always pray to not just have physical health, but to have mental health. Right? To have great stabilities, have foundations, to have all of these comforts that I need. Because a lot of the time when we get caught up and we just don't feel like we can do anything anymore, we can't go any further, or, or whatever these may be, our mind gets a little messed up. Eucalyptus is a wonderful way to get that in check. Now, I had a Witch Please family member who asked me, you know, she, she stated that it's very difficult for her to be able to find that peace, to be able to let go and whatnot. If eucalyptus is burned, it actually will help alleviate some of those negative vibrations from being able to, to get to you. So again, burn it or place it on your body as a constant reminder to keep your mind in check and not to allow other things to affect you. So we are going to be putting in nine drops of eucalyptus. And last but not least, we are going to be using our jasmine. Jasmine is so great for peace and comfort and relaxation and focus and understanding and wisdom. I find that it allows us to be able to even transcend a lot of the blocks that we have. It is a wonderful botanical to be able to transcend a lot of the emotional blocks that you may have. It is uplifting. It can be used to draw your attention to other things, to let things go that really have no meaning or purpose in your reality anymore. And that is the reason why we add our jasmine. And I'm going to be adding 13 drops of the jasmine. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, witch. All right, so now I'm just going to mix this all up, shake it up well. Mm. Okay, so that is done. So now what we're going to do is we are going to do our prayer over this. Now, in this prayer, you're going to want to add in peace. You're going to want to add in foundations. You're going to want to add in um, banishing, repelling of negativity, protection of your home, mental health, physical health, um, consciousness health, of all the consciousness that are in your space, um, ancestors being welcomed, beings being welcomed. You want to really create this wash to be able to create the foundation, again, the foundation of what you want in your home emotionally. 
We have already gone through the actions. We've already gone through the cleansing of the mind. We've also, we've already gone through, you know, the foundations of your home. Now we want to get the emotion right. We want to get everything that's within here right. We want to create a space that is going to be comfortable and going to be safe and welcoming. So remember, everything that you want in your reality, when it comes to your emotion, if you want to be able to bring in um, a love that is, you know, kind and understanding, that's really going to work with you, honey, use this. Put that blessing in here as well. If you want to create a better foundation, if you and your spouse are having a lot of arguments and you really can't seem to, you know, come together like you want, honey, put a prayer in for this. You are only limited to your imagination, all right? So you make this and you empower this to be able to create the emotional vibration and the comfortability that you want in your home. So let me pray over this. All right, and you are done, witches. Your water elemental wash. Now, again, I use this for the floors. I use these for my counters. I use it for really anything, and I have even put a few drops of this bad boy in with my laundry. So that gives you an idea of how versatile this can be. All right, witches, that is our episode for today. If you have not subscribed, you need to press subscribe. Join the Witch Please family and do not miss out on a thing. You can follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, as well as Facebook. You can always leave me a personal email at witchpleaseofficial at gmail.com or you can leave a comment below. I have said it before and I will say it again. It is a pleasure to have you in my world. It is an honor to have you in my magic. And you are always in my heart. I will see you again on another episode of which <laughs> please <laughs> I love you boo boos bye bye